The purpose of writing a memoir is to make yourself look good before you die. So the question is, what is in my life that will make me look good before I die? My name is Rose Ginsberg. I am directing Hourglass by Richard Gaw in the Planet Connections Theatre Festivity this June. And Hourglass is a play about a woman, Myra Goldman, who is a writer and an activist and an intellectual, really one of the foremost intellectuals of the last century. And she is writing her memoirs, the last book she will ever write. And she hires a young graduate student, Nell Finch, to help her type the memoirs. And the play is about their relationship and what they learn from each other. Can you think of any reason why I should hire you? Uh, my name is Sonia Hamlin. But in this play, Hourglass, I am Myra Goldman, a tough broad. Are you listening to me? Open your eyes, Pastor Rehnquist. She's strong, opinionated, sarcastic. But when, during the evolution of the play, you find out who else she is and what else it takes to have been her for these 68 years of her life. Contrast me to some tag. Because if it's just a question of that, I mean, if it's just about style and substance against the social structure of my time, be honest. I kick her ass, right? Uh, it's a very exciting play because it puts us in touch with those women who independently dared to speak out when it was very much frowned upon and had original things to say and really, in a way, change the course of history. So when I first cast Sonia in the role of Myra, and we sort of started talking about the play, and she was telling me how she relates to the character and was excited to be playing this character and told me about her life, I, of course, got really excited because of all of the insight and the experience that she would bring to the role. And then, actually, during one rehearsal last week, we were talking about a line in which Myra says, I have held the hands of Nelson Mandela from the other side of the bars of the prison cell. And Sonia said, actually, that line was very meaningful to me because I have interviewed Nelson Mandela. And I sort of said, okay, wait, pause. We're pausing rehearsal now. We have to hear this story. So it's, it really brings something special to the process and to working on the character and the play. Do you want to know why you should hire me? It's because the work study lady took one look at my words per minute and chuckled to herself. Made me feel dumb. You want to know why you should hire me? It's because I told her to shut the hell up and make the phone call. Uh, Nell Finch is a mid-twenties grad student, go-getter, who's really trying to find her own voice. And she is a Myra Goldman fanatic. Fanatic, fanatic. It seems at this point in her life she's lost her way and lost her voice and doesn't quite believe in herself as a writer and is jumping around from one thing to the next, all very impressive things, great resume points, but it's not enough, it's not really satisfying her. She's there for two years and on to the next thing. And I think this is the point in her life where she really needs a mentor and she gets her dream mentor. I do not need fawning idolatry, Miss Finch. I need someone who can transcribe my handwritten notes and do type pages over the next six weeks. If you are compelled to assume intimacy with me, derived from any false sense of connection through the job, please know that I will not be your friend. Very much about the discovery of, of needing people, and they're both exactly what the other person needs at this point in each of their lives. Um, my favorite line of yours is Never lie about your gifts and speech. They're the very reason you breathe. There's something in that line every time she says it, my heart stops a little bit. It's just like, um, own, your, own yourself, own your gifts. Alive. Come to me with a blank heart, Miss Finch. Monday, 4 o'clock, knock on the door.